folks, Tech with AOK Forging and Adventures here with Kaylin. That's Kaylin from Kaylin Strain. Guys, we are camping together this weekend. Come back and see all the fun we're having. of our stuff right yep and so we are just taking a nice little hike checking out these trails Kaylin has never been here but if you guys remember I brought Robin Redbird 491 out here once and we got some ramps and we cooked them up so what is AOK -okay foraging adventures without foraging right so I found I'm gonna turn you guys around and I bet you a lot of you already know what it is so I'll turn you around and you can see. At all those plantain plants. Look at the, how beautiful they are. Folks, they're really easy. I mean super easy to know what they are. They're one leaf coming out of the ground. See that? Some of them will spring up and have three or four. But you see how wide it is? The long veins of the plant go straight along the whole leaf so it's very very easy green and still green on the underside um you can use these for a variety of reasons a, a variety of what it, what I'm, what's the word medicinal? i'm trying to, medicinal purposes let's see that's why we have kaylin here and then look at this you guys touch me not forget me nots what are they called Forget me not. Forget me not. You know what these are good for? These are a good remedy because of these. That's right, the stinging nettle. You get a stinging nettle, you get one of these. You rub it on and I'll stop the sting. Let's learn identification on this one. So, you got yourself a very nice shiny stalk, round, tubular, hollow. All right, and then look at the nice redness coming off the, uh, coming into the leaf. One main vein, and then a bunch coming off of it. Now these leaves are, are uh, they are alternate. See that? They're alternate. They'll go one to the other side. Opposites. That's what I meant. Opposites. Not alternate. Opposites. Yes. There you go. We're going to keep walking because there's a nice little trail. So, and I think the, uh, the youth camp is group um, camping out here because there, this is, they trot along the hiking trail. Hmm. I think this is to let the kids know that things are waiting for them. All right. We're just going to keep hiking, folks. We came out and... Our trail led us to this. This is where they have the group camp for kids. Let's see. Sheep squeeze through the trees. Sheep rush through underbrush. Thorns dig. Prickers snag. Ship, sheep zig. Sheep zag. Alrighty. Well, this is, I guess, where all the sheep come to <laughs> camp. Look at that. And folks, you know, I call... Oh, look at that little groundhog running away from us. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. There he went. I don't know if you guys got to see that. This is at the base of that tree right there. There he goes. Growing off. All right. Anyways, folks, uh, I called that thing a forget-me-not. It is not a forget-me-not. It's called a touch-me-not. That's what they're called, because once you touch the little flowers, they pop, they disappear, and all that stuff. So, forgive me on that. Wow, look at that big old hole up there. Nice, gnarly, what tree is that? Oh, it's a big, giant maple. Very cool. Would they call that a holy maple? A holy maple, <laughs> as Kaylin says. And these are all Osage Orange over here. And over there. And you, you could tell... 
Osage orange because, I mean, they're orange. The trunk is orange. See? As we get closer. Sorry, guys. Forgot my tripod. Forgot my phone holder. Forgot everything. So, that's why they call it Osage orange. The trunk is orange. Some people call them hedge trees because they have hedge balls, you know. So, anyways, let's keep going, Kaylin. Here we keep going. Here's a gooseberry bush, you guys. See that? And then we go underneath. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see it. There, gooseberry. Let's see. The leaves resemble a ma maple leaf, right? They have thorns. Right there. So, three lobes, three spines on top. See that? So we're gonna pick a gooseberry for Kaylin. Here you go, Kaylin. It's green, yep. so it's gonna be tart. Still good flavor though, I like that flavor. Oh, that's good. Maybe we'll walk around and find some more. <laughs> there you guys go. Man, what a good day already, huh? Folks, we got done with our walk. We decided, hey, why not try fishing? This little creek right here looks like it might hold a little bit of fish. So we're going to try it out. That out a little more line, Kaylin. There you go. Well, look at that. Kaylin, I caught a fish. You see it? Yep. <laughs> All right. If you'll hold my camera for me for a second, I'll pull it up. Oh, look at that. We caught ourselves a nice little creek chub. Oh, no, you got to turn backwards. Oh, okay. Sorry, hon. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Right here, nice creek chub. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there it is, folks. A nice little creek chub. Folks, Kaylin is on the board with her first creek chub. All right. It's not a bad looking one, Kaylin. It's almost four o'clock. Kaylin and I got tired of fishing for the creek chubs because we got about five or six. So we decided to come out to the pond and check out this pond. Nothing but muck, more muck, and more muck. But, on the bright side, look at that pretty little bluegill I caught. Or whatever it is. I don't know. Is it a bluegill? I think it's a bluegill. It has the stripes of a perch. Hmm. That is not what I'm using for bait. That is what I just caught. A little frog. <laughs> and now it's starting to sprinkle, so we may be leaving soon. We'll see if it opens up or not, so. Well, folks, don't yell at me. I did let that frog go. I did not hurt it in any way. I let him go. Can you guys hear? It's raining. There's Miss Kaylin. <laughs> All I caught was weeds. <laughs> yeah, she caught a few weeds. You guys saw how bad that lake was. Or that pond, whatever. Yeah, pond. Well, it's on six acres, so lake, pond. Yeah, I would call it a lake with six acres. <laughs> but I don't think it's that deep, so it's probably a pond. Anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to hang out. We really don't want to cook supper yet. We had our snacks earlier. But after that, mm, I brought us some deer steaks and asparagus. I love asparagus. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. It is really coming down now. You guys can hear that, right? But you know what? We're thankful for, right, Kaylin? Yep. We're all set up. <laughs> there's there's a ton of people that see that red truck right back there? He's sitting in his car. There's a, 
three cars that just pulled in, they're all wait, sitting in their car waiting for it to stop raining so they can set up. <laughs> well, my asparagus is on. Once that is almost done, we will put the deer steaks on, folks. I'll show you pictures. It's due to the rain, I had to move the asparagus to the stove. So we got some Old Bay seasoning in there with that. And we put the deer steaks on. Woohoo! Oh, it looks so good, right? Mm. <laughs> well, folks, dinner was good, wasn't it, Kaylin? Yep, it was delicious. And so we're just going to hang out and just kind of enjoy the evening. We're going to say goodnight for tonight. Whew, thank, sorry about that burp. Folks, part one is coming to an end. So, until next time, may, may all your adventures, adventures be a-okay. -okay. <laughs>